Good morning, guys. Hope everybody's having a great day today. So this is a mail call uh, today, Tuesday morning. Uh, it is July the 9th. Uh, July is just moving on by. My beautiful wife, Miss Wendy, just left, went to work. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna do a mail call, but I got a, I got a little thing here. I wanted to just do some quick, little quick uh, talk about. I got this 75. This is that series case come out with for Smoky Mountain. I guess it was just for Smoky Mountain, but uh, the the uh, a natural bone with the uh, red, white, and blue shield. Beautiful knife. Been carrying it. I'm gonna do some Tina. Look at that, Richter. Got some tan on this thing. I've been using this a lot. I've been carrying it a lot because I love a 75 and it's handy around here. Uh, but so yesterday I, uh, I carried in a little belt sheath, a leather belt sheath. So I pulled it out to use it and I noticed I'm like, uh oh, the shield was gone. There was no shield on it. So I'm like, oh, well, you know, crap, most stink, you know. Uh, so just, just the, you know, just the hole where the shield goes. So I'm like, well, crap, man. So I remembered I had dropped it down in my pocket earlier in the day and had to get it back out and put it in my sheath. So I stuck my hand down there and felt around. Well, the shield was in my pocket, my right pocket. Thank goodness it was in there. So, so... Uh, I went to my shop and I've got some Gorilla Glue, but something I noticed is the back of this shield was slick in, in the, the uh, oval cutout for the shield. It looks like there was no glue in it. It looks like they may have just, it, this thing may have just been, you know, put in there and it was just luckily that it stayed in there but the back of the shield on the back side, the chrome part, no glue residue at all. There was no glue residue. And I thought that was odd. You know, I really thought it was odd. Like, well, don't look like there was even any glue put on this thing. So I got me some Gorilla Glue and a toothpick. And I, you know, I dabbed the toothpick a couple times, kind of smeared it around real good and then flipped the shield over and dabbed some on the shield and then picked it up real easy and then put it in there and I put a little weight on there to hold it in there. So it's in there, so hopefully it'll stay. But, you know, uh, I'm not one to, and I know every now and then you'll, you'll lose a shield, but it was just odd that there wasn't any glue residue on this shield. So, you know, I don't know, but this, this knife's good. It's, you know, it's got all the centering, no gaps or anything. So, you know, that's my rant. And uh, so anyway, let's get back to the mail call. So I got a couple packages or envelopes or whatever in the mail. Got a package here uh, and I'll go over this, but this is, this, this is Blade Walker and I'm sure a lot of y'all have watched his channel. Awesome, awesome guy. Seems very humble, Christ follower. You know, uh, but his name's Steve, and he's from Middlesboro, Kentucky. And his channel, his YouTube channel, is Blade Walker. And I tell you, I love these. I love these stickers, man. I love the rabbit with the suit and the sword. You know, I don't know what the significance of that is. I'd like for him to tell us. How about telling us, Steve? We'd like to know. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, pretty unique stickers, uh, and I really appreciate these stickers. Uh, and I tell you, I'm I'm putting stickers all over my wall in my shop, and it's just it's just it's cool to go down there and just when I'm doing leather, I can look over and see you know some of the channels. Uh, but so Blade Walker, y'all 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 get on his YouTube channel and and support him, and uh, let's uh let's get him up there. He's, he hadn't been doing this very long. So let's get him up there, give him some shout outs. And uh, appreciate you, Steve.
Appreciate you being on YouTube. You're part of the brotherhood. I'll have some stickers coming your way. Uh, he also sent me a note, and I'm not going to open it. But I really, I really do love these. Now, I love the notes more than the stickers or anything else. I, I love these notes. Uh, because these come from the heart, man. Men, men send notes. They, yeah, they come from the heart. I mean, they really do. So I appreciate y'all. Appreciate you, Steve. Uh, like I said, y'all get on Blade Walker and, and follow his channel. Subscribe to his channel. That's awesome. So, the second package I got, and this was from Ozark's boy, 417 Knives. And he's got, a, he's got a great channel. I love the blue, I love the blue stickers. Uh, it's, it's cool how everybody does their stick, stickers different, you know, just some cool artwork. But I got these stickers from him and uh, did get a, I did get a nice note in here. I'm not gonna read it, but got a note in this card. Um, and y'all, y'all follow, follow his channel, subscribe to his channel. He's got some great content. He's a newer, he's a newer YouTuber. Uh, I watch his videos. Uh, I do try to watch everybody's. It may take me several days, but I get on there and watch everybody's. Uh, so, anyway, uh, y'all get on there and and support. His name is, uh, and I talked to him on the phone too the other day and texted him. His name's Jason Mc McMillan. He's from Spring Springfield, Missouri. Jason McMillan. Appreciate you, Jason. Appreciate these decals. Uh, so, <clears throat> on his channel, he gave a, he had a knife giveaway, and I uh, believe it or not, I actually won it. I don't normally win stuff, but uh, so I won this knife, uh, and this is a buck one ten, and this thing, this thing is. It's a beast, man. Look at that thing. I love the color of it. I've got the I've got the 112 like this. It's smaller though. But what I didn't what I do know about this knife, he had it engraved. He had uh ah, I can see it here. Let me, let me get this thing. I think his name is CJ Buck. He's one of the Buck original Buck people. And he, uh, one of the owners, runs runs Buck Knives. You can see it right there. You can see the engraving. So I won't be carrying this one. I'm not going to carry it. Y'all don't be jealous now. Y'all don't be jealous. HT, this one's for you, brother. Uh, but I won this, and, and I'm, 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 my wife, you know, we, we saw him. We saw him at the... At the blade show the booth was crowded he couldn't hardly get to it but this is this is a beautiful knife man and it's got a uh, back lock the very back side of it it's a locking blade it's got thumb studs but it's a beautiful color man i love this color i love this this would be a great user but i'm not going to use it y'all this thing is going to go be put up and for a future generation. So there's that one. I appreciate it. Uh, Jason, I appreciate that, that knife. But he also, uh, sent me this. And it's funny because when I was in Alabama at an antique store, they had one of these uh, Craftsman. This is a Craftsman. Stockman, and they had one of these in the display, and I got it out and looked at it, and it was just like this one. But the reason I didn't buy it was because I I just I bought I bought the uh, Winchester, and I don't know right offhand who makes these. It's probably either Charade or Camillus or you know. Uh, 
Craftsman didn't make them. They had somebody make them for them. But the first thing I noticed about this knife when I pulled it out with these brass bolsters, man, this thing is beautiful. Got some beautiful wood. And I am going to carry this. I'm going to put it up in my 75 little section of my little knife box. And, and I will carry this one. Uh, it's a beautiful knife, y'all. Uh, it's got the long, long uh, nail neck. Um, you can see the Craftsman. I'm pretty sure it's stainless steel. There's no gaps or anything in this thing, so. Blade's a little off center, but that's okay. It ain't enough to worry. But yeah, I got the nice clip point, big swedge on it. Got a nice swedge on it. And then it's got your standard uh, sheep's foot and spade blade. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of wood this is. Maybe somebody knows. I don't know if it's a coca bola or whatever. Uh, but it's a pretty wood. Uh, sorry about that, y'all. Just take a look. I love these brass. I love these this brass on the end. Uh, just kind of pop, makes it pop. You don't you don't see very many brass bolsters. You can see the wood. It's a beautiful knife. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, Jason. Uh, appreciate the thought. And uh y'all uh Y'all support these guys, man. Y'all support these guys. Y'all, you know, y'all give them a give them a shout out. Watch their channel, support them. We got to get on there and watch their channels. We got to like their videos. You know, put in the time, comment. You know, because they're 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 the knife brotherhood. So we got to support the brotherhood. We got to support these guys. We got a great knife community. We got a generous knife community. Uh, you know, and it's not it's not cheap to have, you know, a hundred of these made. You know, people are making them. You know, these guys come up with their little logo. And I think it's cool. Everybody's is different. So, you know, they got some investment in their channel. So we need to support them. We need to talk about them and, and get, them, get them some more subscribers, make sure people watch. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna watch them, you know. It might take me a couple days to get over to each channel, but I I'm gonna I'm gonna watch because I enjoy I enjoy the enjoy the content. Uh, let me know if any of y'all have had, you know. I don't want to get on a big case case bashing thing, but if y'all have had any issues with shields on these on these uh, natural bone this these new ones with this shield, this red, white, and blue shield, let me know. If there's any y'all out there had any more issues? I hope I hope there's not, but it may just be a rarity. But I guarantee you that bad boy's in there now. It ain't going to come out. So anyway, I hope y'all have a great day. God bless y'all. Uh, y'all uh, be safe out there, man. Like I said, it's hot. If you're out there working outside like I did yesterday, Cutting grass and doing a lot of different things, y'all. Y'all, uh, y'all take a break. Come in and get in the cool. You know, drink. Your... Main thing is hydrating. Hydrate first thing in the morning before you start working. Before you go outside, uh, get you some, get you some water. Get you some water in you, and hydrate during the day, man. And uh, that's my, that's my safety. That's my safety consulting of the day. But seriously, y'all, y'all, uh, y'all need to do that. Take care of yourself because you can have a heat, you can have a heat stroke in this heat, some kind of heat incident. So y'all be safe out there, and uh, God bless y'all. God bless the Knife Brotherhood, man. Y'all be be good. God bless you.